I was the only Latina dancer in Ailey too for the years that I was there. It was so much bigger than I knew. There would be times that I was, you know, performing on stages in Italy or France, and I didn't even know what I was representing to these people. They may have never even seen someone that looks like me on a stage. I can remember it like it was yesterday. I must have been 12 years old. My mom bought tickets for us to see Avenelli American Dance Theater. I saw all of these beautiful dancers for the first two pieces. I was just kind of waiting for a moment where I could feel connected to someone on stage. This piece called Episodes by Ulysses Dove starts and the music is really epic. And the first thing I see is this dancer, Lena Celeste Sims. I was like, that, that's me. And she's Latina, she's Panamanian and Dominican. I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. In that moment, I just remember feeling like, I do have a place. I do belong. After I saw that performance, I was very inspired. I had this story to tell, and I was carrying the story and the history of not only myself, but my mom and my grandma and my great-grandmother and everyone. It was a privilege, really, that I got to tell their story, that it was something that I needed to do. And dance has been a vehicle in a way for me to be able to do that, to bring my story to people through movement, create a path of my own that I hope people will follow me. I'm noticing my own greatness and I'm really starting to step into it. From here, step up, curving the arms up in front of you and then two contractions in, in. Good, let's go back. So I've started choreographing more because I feel comfortable now stepping to the forefront. And it'll be with momentum. So from the little hit, we go push, like a big windstorm, yeah. I can control this atmosphere, but in a way that it is inclusive. Let's make a circle, and we're each gonna have a spotlight. Improv, yeah? Dance is, it's a lot of amazing things. I think growing up, I often felt powerless. In my moments of soft doubt, dance was there. It was a place for me to go to. It was a safe haven. Mom and dad met because they were like hustle dancers. The Copacabana, New York, prime of the disco era. We're all very immersed in dance. So it's literally in my blood. I, I really think it's in my DNA. My mom, she's, she's probably 50% of why I actually still am a dancer. Here it comes again. Her mother couldn't really afford dance lessons. My mom loved dancing, always. I'm living a dream that she always had. It's sunny even though it's winter. Mm -hmm. It's interesting with growing up as a Latina female in New York City. You would think, you know, this city is all about like grinding and being empowered constantly, but we really do have to fight. Whenever I'm on stage, I feel like I am telling you what I want you to see. You don't even have a choice. I'm gonna tell you. The steps fall away. How good it feels in my body even falls away. I transcend. When I envision breaking glass, I see someone climbing up a ladder of people and then giving a little tap and then the glass kind of just easily shatters because I have been helped by so many wonderful people. It, you know, it, it saddens me that sometimes people see it as just a, it's only about me and it's about me breaking through the glass, but really it's about all of us. You work so hard for so many years. I'm having this moment, but I know so many other people that deserve this moment. 
This moment is for all of us. And we're just gonna keep doing it together. <laughs>